that tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install MySQL 5.5 on your uh, Windows 8 PC. You could uh, The same process is very similar for Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Windows 8 is just slightly different, but to begin with, we'll go ahead and launch our web browser. I'm using Chrome, and uh, we'll go to mysql.com and forward slash downloads. All right, and then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and click uh, this right here. Um, hopefully this banner is still there. We want the uh, MySQL installer for Windows, so we'll go ahead and download that. All right, and then we'll scroll down and we're going to find right here where it has Windows. Uh, should already be selected and we're going to go ahead and download it. All right, now that that is finished uh, downloading, we're going to go ahead and go back over to our desktop. And then we're going to go to our downloads folder. And we're going to go ahead and launch the installer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, install MySQL products. Going to accept, click next, and uh, we'll go ahead and let it run this. All right, we'll go ahead and click next. And on this one here, um, I'm gonna go ahead. You can do developer default. It's not really gonna matter. I'm going to go ahead and click server only because I plan on using this in Apache, uh, MySQL, and PHP setup with uh, PHP my admin. So I don't really need the developer uh, tools. It adds on, you know, it just installs some extra stuff that we don't need. Now I'm going to change the data path. I'm going to go ahead and change this to, uh, I'm going to go to my computer, C, and then I'm going to make a new folder. You don't have to do this, this is optional. I'm going to just type uh, MySQL data and then click OK. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, we'll just go ahead and leave it there. Okay, it says we're ready to go on the installation, so let's go ahead and install it. it says uh, execute. Alright, so it installed successfully, so we'll go ahead and click next. And uh, now we've got the option to go ahead and uh, configure it. And we can configure it a couple of different ways. Uh, based on this, it'll decide on how much memory to allocate to uh, MySQL. Um, you can either choose develop, development machine or server machine, depending on how much you're planning on running. I'm just going to leave it on developer machine, it's not going to matter. Um, this is the default port. We'll go ahead and leave it there and go ahead and let it open the firewall part, uh, port. You can uh, click to advanced options. We're just going to go ahead and skip that because we don't need to do that. All right, so now we need to go ahead and set a, a password for the root user. Um, the current password should be blank, so we'll go ahead and skip that. Alright, we'll click next. And the Windows service name, that's fine. Uh, this is just basically saying that MySQL will start whenever Windows starts, so it'll automatically load. Um, we'll go ahead and leave it on the standard system account, and then we'll click next.
All right, and the configuration is complete, so we'll click next again, and we are finished installing it. Now, in order to test it out, what we're going to do, we're going to go over to, they call it the Metro window or something like that. We're going to go here, and then we're just going to start typing. Um, so, uh, no, no, no. Command. All right. And we can click on the MySQL 5.5 command prompt. And then we're going to enter the password that we just set up for the uh, root user. All right. And if we type the right one in, we should see this. And this lets us know that we are connected to our MySQL server. If you want to type a show databases and colon afterwards you press enter and it'll go ahead and show you the databases and so now your MySQL server is up and running and you're ready to start using it uh, that's the end of the tutorial so thanks for watching